Hey everybody, it's Kaysen. I'm just coming to you today to do a tutorial on this look. This is a New Year's Eve inspired smoky eye using silvers and blacks and a nice winged out liner. So if you guys are interested in how I did this, just stay tuned. jump right into the tutorial I'm just taking a light brown color this is Mac soft brown and I'm just using a big fluffy brush this is similar to the Sigma E40 brush this is just a BH cosmetics one though and I'm just gonna run that through my crease and up onto my brow bone this is gonna help give us a transition color anytime you use a dark color on the lid you want to make sure that you use a color just a little bit darker than your natural skin tone in the crease just to help fade it up so that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking this pigment from MAC. This is in the color Platinum. And I'm just going to spray a flat brush with my MAC Fix Plus and pack this right onto the lid. I'm mainly packing it on the inner portion of the lid and the center and then just slightly blending it onto the outer portion of the lid as well. If you don't have the Max Fix Plus or this pigment, you can always just use a nice silver shadow and just wet your brush with water or eye drops or any type of setting spray that you have. That's just going to help it to show up a little bit more pigmented and give that wet foiled look. I decided to go in and just bring it up into the crease just slightly just to give the illusion that my lid is a little bit higher up than what it actually is. And just make sure when you do something like this that you um, blend it really well so that the line is nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go in with this pencil brush from MAC into this matte black shade. This is from the Lorac Pro Palette, but you can use any matte black shade that you have. And you just want to start on the outer portion of the lid and create a nice cat eye shape. Um, just slowly press it on and blend it into the silver color that we applied on the lid. You have to be really careful when you work with a black shadow on the lid. You just want to make sure that you start with just a little bit of product on there and just keep blending and then slowly keep adding black. I go back in with the black probably three or four times throughout the look just to keep deepening it, but you don't want to start off with a lot of black. Now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and this doesn't have any product on it and I'm just blending out that black shadow that I just put on the lid and now I'm going in with Max. Um, topographic eyeshadow. This is just a kind of smoky black color and this just blends out the crease so well and really makes it look more smoky. The real key to a look like this is really just to keep slowly blending and then slowly adding more darkness where it needs to be and then I also go back in with the soft brown and sort of blend out the crease as I go along as well. See now I'm going back in with the soft brown and just blending that right on the outer edges of the black just so that it looks like it fades more into my natural skin color. So this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to take a black coal liner. This one is from Too Faced and I'll list all the products down below. And you just want to apply this in your tight line which is the upper rim of your eye just to make your lashes look a little bit thicker. And now I'm going in with a liquid liner. This one is from The Bomb Cosmetics and it's called Schwing Liner. And you just want to go ahead and create that nice winged out line. Um, to kind of show you here how I create my wing. I like to angle it up and then kind of draw a triangle shape back in and then just fill it in afterwards. 
Then I go into the inner corner after I've already done the outer corner and just make the line as thick as I want it and just keep going over it until you get a nice smooth line. Now I'm going to go in with a nice shimmery eyeshadow. This one is from MAC. It's called Shroom. And I'm just applying that right onto the top of my brow bone just to kind of highlight that area. Anytime you use black shadows, you want to make sure you highlight your brow bone just to make your eyelid look a little bit higher up. I used Ardell's 105 lashes and my battery actually went dead so while it was charging I went ahead and did my foundation. I used my NARS Sheer Glow and my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer along with the Cover FX Powder and I did all that off camera. Now I'm just going to go in with this push brush from Sigma and I'm just going to apply that same matte black shadow from the Lorac Pro Palette. I'm just going to go in and push that into my lash line. Now I'm going to take the pencil brush from MAC and I dipped this into the soft brown shade and I just blended that out. Now I'm using a glitter liner. I'm not even sure where I got this one from, but I'll try to link it down below. I just want it to add a little bit of glitter to the look, and I kind of went off out of the frame for that, so I cut that out, but I just went back over and applied some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to take and use MAC Sculpting Powder and Emphasize, and I'm going to run that under my eyes just to make sure that area stays highlighted. And then I'm taking my Hula Bronzer from Benefit and just going ahead and bronzing my face a little bit before I actually start to contour. You want to kind of run it on your temples as well. This is going to help bring the light to the center of the face, which gives the illusion that your face is slimmer and also brings out your cheekbones and your jawline. Hula Bronzer is definitely one of my top five bronzers, um, if not my favorite. It's such a good bronzer to contour with. It's very pigmented. Um, you know, it kind of stays right where you put it, and it blends out really, really easily as well. It doesn't look too orange, but it also doesn't look too brown. It gives your face a nice, natural, um, kind of sun-kissed glow, and I really like that. So after I bronze my face, I'm going to actually go in and define the contour a little bit more using my NARS Ida brush. And just using the same bronzer, you want to go ahead and contour out your cheekbones. I kind of like to angle from the top of my ear towards the corner of my mouth. But stopping right below where my eyebrow stops, you want to kind of keep it more on the outer portion of your face and then just blend it up. You don't want to blend it down. You want to keep it all up and keep the part right below the bronzer nice and um, clean and not bronzed. I also am going to contour out my nose a little bit. And this all looks really harsh at first, but I'm just going to take a Duo Fiber brush. This is the F50 brush, I think it is, from Sigma. And it's just a nice Duo Fiber fluffy brush, and that really blends out bronzer very well. Now I'm going to go in with Max Mineral Blush in Lovejoy. This is probably my favorite blush of all time. It's so pigmented. I barely even touched my brush into it and it was still a lot of product. It was enough for both cheeks and a little more. I go back in with that Duo Fiber brush to blend that out as well. I'm going to go in and highlight my face with Stila's Kitten Duo Highlighter on a fan brush. And I'm just going to put that right on the very tops of my cheekbone. And also I'm going to run it down my nose and on my forehead. Anywhere you want to draw the light towards your face. So right in the centers of your face and the high points of your face.
So almost done, we're going to go on to the lips. I'm going to use my Jordana lip liner and just line my lips and also fill them in. Um, whenever you use a lip liner, you want to make sure that you blend it into your lips because lip liner tends to stay longer than regular lip gloss or lipstick. So you don't want when your lipstick wears off to just have this nice rim around your lips. So you want to blend it in and that's going to help it wear a little bit prettier. I'm actually not going to use any lipstick at all. I liked the shade that this lip liner gave my lips. And I'm just going to go in with a gloss over top of that. This is my Buxom lip gloss. I'll list the name of it below. And you just want to run that over that lip liner. And it's just going to give a nice natural kind of pink lip. Perfect for um, a look that's using really dark colors on the eyes. So that is pretty much it. This is the final look. It's a nice smoky eye. Um, I really like the way it looked with these lashes as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I ended up actually curling my hair with the Numi Magic Wand in the 25mm as well. So these pictures will show you my final looks. Thanks.